The construction industry in the city is heading on an upswing. The number and value of building permits within the city has risen, and that trend is expected to continue. But there could be a fly in the ointment. Construction in all categories is on the rise, as is the value of the permits issued. For instance, the number of industrial permits more than doubled last year, while the value of those permits went from $1.2 million in 2011 to $33.8 million in 2012. And that's expected to climb again this year. There's some large projects planned uh, for this year, the Wood Innovation and Design Center, uh, the hotel project on the old RCMP lot. Uh, we've also got uh, Northland Dodge with a, a new dealership going up by, uh, the golf, on the golf course lands and uh, some other big projects in the works. Luckily, Ian Wells says those local projects have secured their workforces. The concern with this upward trend is finding the workers to make it happen. Well, there's no question that there's been a trade shortage for a long time in the province and it's talked about a lot. Uh, and I think that we need to uh, be vigilant to that and work with uh, you know, the school district, CNC, uh, UNBC. Uh, we need to bring those partners together and talk about what we can do to increase the trades. Enter Heather Oland and her team at Initiatives Prince George. While not a recruiting firm, IPG has made the attraction and retention of workers a big part of its 2013 economic development plan. Our role as the Economic Development Corporation is to t let people know and market and promote why Prince George is a great place to live uh, and it's companies' jobs, businesses' jobs to attract, to tell people why they're and companies are a great place to work. So we need to work together with our business community uh, and our educational uh, facilities to, uh, to promote that message. Lynn Hall says the labor shortage has been looming for some time and no one is unaware of it and it's not isolated to Prince George and the North. So I think we are going to have to take a, a look outside of perhaps even provincial boundaries and the word spreads in the trades uh, area where tradespeople understand and know that where the work is and they're certainly prepared to go there. They're prepared to go to where the work uh, is happening. So I think we're going to see more people. Hall says the momentum moving forward partly depends on how the city accommodates the primary and secondary industries. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.